Good morning. Thank you all for coming in here. And I don't know what parts of the state you were you're driving in from, so I'm so, sure so, some of you might have played the traffic on the way in, as I did. But um, again, I'm Senator Michael Moore from the second Worcester district, which is the half of the city of Worcester, the towns of Leicester, Auburn, Millbury, Grafton, Shubury, and Upton. Uh, in my district, that includes Worcester and the surrounding towns, uh, there was some great work being done uh, to help the elderly and infirm remain at home. Uh, the work that is carried out by my home, by home health aides which are visiting nurses, therapists, and others employed by the home care agencies, and it's happening all across the state in this country. I was fortunate enough to experience this work firsthand when I went on a home care visit to see a constituent of mine with the DNA Care Network and the Home Care Alliance. This constituent was receiving a service called telehealth, and it was evident that it was working one for this 91-year-old who by receiving this service was able to remain her in her house comfortable and enjoying the surroundings that she's enjoyed for many years. Uh, she had a fractured hip, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, coronary artery disease, and other problems that forced her to take as much as 21 different medications. Uh, with telehealth, with the telehealth equipment, uh, my constituent I was able to have her blood pressure, heart rate, and other measurements taken every day. And the information was transmitted electronically via a telephone line to a nurse at the agency who was then able to respond, respond to any of her concerns in a timely manner. Uh, because of this technology, along with the follow-up phone calls and home visits, it helps her stay at her home. And money is not everything, as we know. But today, with the limited resources that we do have, there is a very substantial savings that is, um, that is incurred, allowing us hopefully to provide more services for our people while allowing them to stay in their home settings. Uh, in fact, the VNA Care Network, there is a 30% reduction in hospital readmissions and a 39% reduction in the emergency room visits as compared to patients who are not on telehealth services. Uh, thanks to home health care, my constituent is happy, independent, and managing her own care. Since my visit with her, agency, with her and her agency, she's been discharged and she's living at her house stable and in a very healthy um, capacity right now. Uh, this is why I have agreed to sponsor a piece of legislation along with Senator Chandler, who also represents the first was the district, uh, who's filed another uh, piece of legislation, and Senator Tolman uh, from the Austin Brighton area, who's filed a piece of language in the health care omnibus bill that support health care, telehealth services, and allowing mass health, allowing you to build mass health for these services. Um, but this isn't all the home health care that uh, home health offers. As you'll hear today, there's, there's uh, many more services that you provide that benefit the elderly, children in need, uh, and people who need, need care um, that we just can't provide the services for today. And so I want to thank you all for being here. <coughs> thank you for your support. Hopefully you will gather, you will gain support for legislation, various pieces of legislation that we have filed that's going to help care for the people that you do service. So uh, again, thank you very much for being here this morning, and I look forward to working with you.